Hey guys, we're here at Universal Studios. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to get future updates. Magic. As you probably know, the word movie is a nickname for motion pictures, and in the early days of filmmaking, it must have truly seemed like magic. In the late 1800s, the Pettibone Brothers Manufacturing Company produced magic lanterns, like this one, which were widely used by traveling showmen, projecting images onto white backdrops. Imagine for a moment what that must have been like. You're sitting in a dark tent, suddenly the white backdrop is revealed, and a single image appears, then... When seen in the right order, in the right light, and at the right speed, those images seem to come to life to create a magical new world. has been making movies on this location for the last 100 years. In that time, we have turned out some of the most memorable film moments in Hollywood history. Hold on to your butt. has always remained the same, to make the audience believe everything they see is real. Today's filmmakers have more tools than ever before. High-tech cameras, super-fast computers, but they still rely on a category of effects so distinctive they're known as special. And one of the earliest forms of special effects are practical effects, which are shot on set right in front of the camera. Our first example of practical effects is models. Universal's 1933 film, The Mummy, made use of miniature effects, including scale models, like this one here from the title sequence. Now we know that's a model because the real pyramids do not say The Mummy on the back of them. When Universal relaunched The Mummy in 1999, the Sphinx that you see there is actually this Sphinx model you see here. This is the actual model that was used in the making of the film. The attention to detail is incredible. I think Susan would agree. Models are a great way to fool the camera. Am I right? Absolutely. Bang. Another filmmaking tool that also fools the camera is the glass mat. In the terrifying film The Birds, the brilliant Alfred Hitchcock had map paintings created to achieve the eerie look he wanted for the town of Bodega Bay. Take a look at the side screens. In this literal bird's eye view of the town, only the fire and the parking lot were real. Everything else was hand painted on glass to create a mat and then dropped in front of the camera. And then the footage of the birds was incorporated to complete the effect. So we've shown you two examples of practical effects, a model and glass mat. And there's also a category of practical effects that involves performers, not just props. Practical stunts! Did someone say stunts? Please welcome our special effects show, Stunt Department! Yeah! Chris came zipping down, Justin came flying in. How come we don't get an awesome entrance? Those are wearing nice clothes. 
You may not know their faces, but you have seen their work in countless television and movie projects, sometimes as stunt doubles for some of your favorite stars. Let me introduce them. We have Chris Giacomazzi, Hai Chao Zhao, and our stunt coordinator, Justin Chambers. Welcome, guys. Hey. Justin? Susan? Is it safe to say the stunt performers almost always double for actors when there's a fight scene? Yeah, absolutely. Actors don't like getting kicked in the face. Kicked in the face? Like this. <laughs> is he okay? <laughs> yes, he is. Very nice. You guys can set up. When staging a fight, the art of illusion is very important. All the moves have to be realistic enough to fool the camera, but without getting anybody injured. So the performers have to make it look believable. Now let me set our scene. Exterior, dark alley, dead of night. A couple nefarious characters are hanging around. Ready and action! to movies after the film is shot, but do you know its origin? Jack Foley wore many hats, director of silent films, writer of westerns, he was stunt double, but when he started doing sound effects for Universal in the 20s, that's when he began to make a name for himself. For over 30 years, Jack Foley worked on Soundstage 10 here on the lot. If he couldn't recreate a sound on his stage, he went out and got it, using the technique called direct-to-picture. Foley and his crew would record sound effects directly to the finished film in a single take. One mistake meant they had to start the whole process all over again from the beginning. Here to help us experience what that must have been like, please welcome our first group of volunteers! Our family from Kentucky and Maryland! Welcome! They are going to help us demonstrate how the simple items on this cart can be repurposed sound like something completely different than you might think. For example, in Foley, a water bottle is used to articulate the sound of bones breaking. Listen to this. Pretty cool, huh? Kids, you could try that at home. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the footage we need to Foley. It's Melissa McCarthy and Jason Bateman in Identity Thief, along with actual universal Foley artists hard at work. Watch the side screens. Now I have a plan. Oh, you got to feel it Alright, let's take a look at the tools they're going to be using. Over here, we have a crash box. It makes the sound of crashes. These are shoes on sticks for the running sounds. Here we have rolled up phone books for the sounds of the body falls. The boxing gloves are for the throat punch and the face slaps. Over here on the end, we have a wooden mallet and a cowbell for the sound of the toaster hit. And finally, Monique will also be using these handcuffs because these handcuffs sound like handcuffs. <laughs> all right, I want all five of you to keep an eye on the clip right down over here. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah? All right, here we go. Only family take one. Roll tape, sound, action. Peace. 
come down stage with me over here. Let's all stand right along this line, center stage. We are going to add in audio with dialogue and score. Can we add their Foley track into playback? Yeah? All right. Everyone, take a look at the side screens. Watch and listen. Get over here and give me a rip. Now I have a plan. <laughs> Thriller and horror films. Let's take a peek. Yeah.